this is Carly S and today I would like to show you the second journal I've been doing this year. I have done one with uh, uh, Let's Face It and this is Paint Your Life and Soul uh, provided by Olga Fuhrmann. I really enjoyed it. I already uh, filmed the first part so if you haven't seen it you can find it up here and I'm just going to flip through uh, the remaining pages. So this is week number 26 and um, this is called Creative Collage and the lesson was off offered by Lucy Bryden. Um, interesting, lots of background, very tri-dimensional, very thick paper obviously now. Then the next one is Talking Through Leaves with Tina Berenson, um, an interesting concept, also lots of layers and inks which I really love and so playing around and trying to find my way around this. This one looks very similar, I don't know, I guess this is because I use similar colors, but it's a very different way of approaching art, of, at least in my mind. This is Spirit of the Dragon, so obviously this is the dragon, the spirit comes more or less out of me or a person. Uh, and the lesson was provided by Katrina Kolt Koltes, she is um, a German artist living in Italy. Then we here have uh, the wonderful Mistel, her lessons, and the lesson's name is a cup of calm, and obviously this is my cup of tea. It's quite huge compared to the rest, but that's okay, you know, this is uh, not meant to be realistic. Then we did a lesson in watercolors, which I love, Watercolor Hydrangea by Kate Thompson. I love watercolor and I really enjoyed this class. Uh, I love the result and this was all also very fitting for the season. So the next one, and for me this half year we had quite a few of these we had to practice, which sometimes can be a little bit boring, but you know, that's how you learn. So I, I really tried also to do this kind of lessons. So these are hand study by Annie Hammond and basically the challenge was to have different hands, look at them and just try different positions. And that's how you learn. Um, so some I like, some I like, like less. Then here we're going to uh, my dear friend Pia Rom. Um, Connie has a wonderful lesson and here this is called Funny Cow. Obviously this is a cow. This is how I have rendered my cow and I really love a big smile. Uh, on the next page we have In Full Bloom with Nicole Wickman. Um, this is a wonderful idea for postcards. I created one for a friend of mine for her birthday. Wonderful, um, a really nice painting. Um, here we have Henry, and Henry obviously is a bird, an owl, and the lesson was provided by Pamela Hayward. I think she comes from Canada. I'm not too much into that kind of painting. It's not enough colors for me, but that's, you know, as I said, I do all the lessons. It's coming out of my own comfort zone. So this is more what the kind of art I like. I love colorful art. This is um, nature, no, this is, sorry, signature abstract with Tracy Verdugo. And I'm very happy because this year, or not next year, in 2019, I will be doing a course with her in Spain, which is lovely. She's coming to Europe. Um, she lives in Australia, as far as I rec uh, recall and um, it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to that. Then, um, what else? We have here Nature's Medley with Ursula Wollenberg, a very classical one with watercolors and a little flower I um, sticked here and some stamps. Quite a classic, but you know, that's, I love watercolors, so I was very happy to be able to do one. And then on the week after we did a second watercolor, which is the Earth is what we all have in common by Natalie Chamberlain Mesham. And these two, I think, are very similar to the original. I mean, most of the time I've tried to stick to them and sometimes I did my own thing. So, for example, this one, this is me, this is my face. Um, this is a, a picture taken of me while I was on holiday uh, in Bali, I think. And then when I came back, I took these pictures and the title is Smile at Life with Lucy Chen. Basically, she proposed that we work only in a, with a limited pa palette and draw ourselves. So, a good exercise. Then we have um, pumpkin, a pumpkin, obviously. I think you all saw that. Um, with Robin Angel Perkley. A very classical painting. 
This one uh, is also this, the kind of painting I really love. This is from Karen Bosse. She is a French-Canadian lady, uh, very playful, very whimsical. Um, I love what she does. Also w wonderful watercolors. And so I was very happy to do this flamingo. I love the head. I love I love this part. And, and Karen's painting is more like this. And then I didn't know what to do here. That's why it's a little bit empty. Then here uh, we were supposed to do... Um, um, uh, how do you say? Uh, wax colors with... Um, with Laura Murphy, uh, she she loves. I I and I personally didn't first because I'm working my journal. It's not possible to do uh, encaustic, um, so I took acrylics and tried to mimic what she was doing. So this is my take on what she did. It's very sick pages. I have three pages, and here I have stamps that I have taken, postal stamps obviously, and yeah, I like the results. It's different, but you know it strongly inspired what by your course. So here again we had to practice so this was already something ah uh, I want to paint I want to use my paint my colors but you know what I think these things are really really important so I took um, magazine pictures and I tried to sketch people posters and that was the challenge we had only two minutes time and to be as fast as possible and nevertheless get, get the gist out of, of um, the posture. So I think it's a great exercise. I really like this one. This is the last one I did, I think. Um, I don't like his hand, but for the rest, I think, you know, this is quite, I think I did it in one minute. And that's exactly um, what this exercise is about, really getting into understanding the human body. So great exercise, actually. Um, the next one um, is Rebirth with Shiyu Moons. Um, actually quite a, a very romantic, uh, powerful image. Um, she used collages, I did my own butterflies and uh, my own interpretation, but it's quite similar to what she was offering. So this is more my kind of, uh, my cup of tea. This is Funky Chicken Dance with Sarah Birch. And this is really crazy. I don't have any chicken in here because I didn't see any chicken, but I love the approach. I love what came out of it. I love that this is quite quirky. And um, actually for me, it's more like a man and a woman. So it's like a couple. I really love this painting and I love the colors as well. So really great. Um, and then we have obviously Elizabeth the first. You might know this painting actually. It's a very old painting and we use watercolors and I, try to replicate the painting and I really like it. I like watercolors and I love the, 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 the very majestic way of looking at it. This is probably, no it's not probably, this is my favorite painting because I love that it's whimsical, I love that it's magical, magical, more magical than whimsical. I love the little puppy, I love the colors, the grunginess of the colors, I love, I mean touch, can you hear it? I love that. I love this painting. So this is Sweet Puppy, obviously, and this class was offered by Olga, and uh, this is um, yeah, a, a good time for me to thank her for the wonderful course she has put together. I really enjoyed it, and especially I enjoyed this class, so thank you so much. And then we're already arriving at the last one, but I have four pages for you, just for the last lesson. So the last lesson was again practicing. <laughs> working with darks and whites and, and lights. So here we have an apple. This is with charcoal. This is just with black pen. Two black pens actually, a white pen a little bit. And you know, nothing fancy, but I think every artist has to practice. And then we went into abstracts and these are Christmas abstracts. So this is obviously the nativity scene. As you can, you can, you can see, I used, um, I use acrylic paints with a lot of water, so I water them down. That's why you have here like blooms, which I don't like so much, but I only noticed afterwards. And then my last paintings are two pictures of Christ. And, you know, the uh, topic is Christmas abstract. So it's very abstract. It's just a lot of paint. Don't think too much. Just put it down and uh, just have fun. So I had fun. I hope you also had fun. If you had, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And I wish you a Merry Christmas. Bye bye. And a Happy New Year.